guys, Ash Lane here coming at you today because I've done it. I finally reached Legends League. So uh, <laughs> maybe better, better late than never, but I feel like I now have my YouTuber credentials back installed. And before I show you uh, my new Legends badge, I wanted to show you this amazing attack by my clanmate Crips, a co-leader in Red Elite. He's going to do this really nice clear, uh, queen walk here uh, out in the open, meaning out in the wild, meaning he didn't pre-plan this base, but he does a really nice queen walk here. Starts out in the north, was able to direct her, you know, right to that eagle artillery. Just what a great attack by Crips here. You can see that I actually put out a queen walk and super queen directional guide, so if you're looking for ways to, uh, to get your pathing down to make sure she goes in the direction that you want her to go go ahead and check that out that was yesterday's video in case you missed it I put it out kind of late at night but look at this his queen's gonna take out the eagle artillery this is gonna be a spoiler alert of a three-star attack in the wild against a totally maxed out town hall 11 base what a nice hit here by Crips as soon as his queen is kind of dying down here he's gonna go ahead and merge her to the golems there gonna let her do a little bit more work you see he's gonna delay on that jump spell he's thinking right now, do I want to use the jump spell on the queen, or do I want to use it on the golems? So the golems finally break through that wall, and he's like, okay, now I guess I'll use it on the queen. He's going to merge his queen into the golems. Now, in just a second here, he's going to start deploying the wizards and the uh, the rest of the heavy hitters here, in terms of all the DPS. He's going to deploy the king, as well as the, uh, the, the witches that he has with him as well. So, the healers are all still alive. The queen, he had to use her ability. Obviously, it's imperative to use her ability before she dies. Some people I've seen like hesitate on using the ability because they wanted it to last longer. They wanted the queen's ability to, you know, use towards the back end of the raid. But hey, if you have to use it, you have to use it. You could don't be afraid to either rage the healers or obviously use the queen's ability. You can see perfect timing on that Grand Warden ability keeps all the uh, troops alive through the thick of things there. The the single target Inferno is still alive. The multi is down. Troops moving through the base. What a nice attack. And look at in the south there. You can see the uh, there's still a bunch of witches and wizards in the south. You can see the main portion of the attack is just totally flooding through this base. Wow. What a hit by Crips. And not to mention the loot. 7k Dark Elixir plus the Titan 2 bonus. Man, this is a real this is a hit for the ages. And what makes this hit especially remarkable is that look at how many of his troops are going to be alive at the end of the raid. He has all four witches still alive. <clears throat> he has his hero's at full health here. The king's at full health. The warden's at full health. The queen finally takes some fire uh, under those cannons at the very end of the raid. But look at all those wizards alive. Wow, what a hit for Crips here. Wanted to share that with you guys before I get to my own badge. Uh, my, my attacks certainly aren't quite as exciting or overpowered as that three-star by Crips. That's really a textbook queen walk there uh, using four healers, which is, you know, where the maximum bang for your buck is in terms of healer quantity on those queen walks. So here I am, 50, 75 cups right now. If you look at me in game, I might be a little higher or a little lower as I did record this uh, last night uh, to when you're watching right now. And uh, yeah, I'm living it, living it up here. You can see my attack log is all two and one stars. I have not lost an attack, knock on wood, in about ooh, 50 or 60 attacks. That's because this strategy is so safe. If I run into a base with two single target Inferno Towers, Sometimes I just try for one star, meaning that I'm, I play things a little bit more careful and I just spread the dragons a little bit wider because I know two single targets is pretty hard to go into. You will see that I have changed to uh, the uh, free spells instead of the lightning spells. Been having a lot of success with this. I used the Eternal Tome ability a little bit early here. That's because there were wizards in the clan castle. If there's all wizards in the clan castle, that can be a nightmare on a dragon uh, a raid. So certainly want to go ahead and neutralize those troops as soon as possible. I am hitting into the clan castle, if at all possible. That beca That's because in the event that there is a, uh, a hound in the clan castle, if I kill the clan castle, the hound won't deploy. And uh, he'll never deploy when I, when I deploy the uh, king 
King and the Queen towards the end of the raid. So thank you so much, guys, for your support. I have been playing about eight hours a day, so uh, that's you know, a six-hour stretch and a two-hour stretch uh, to get to Legends League. So that's how much time it's taking, and I've noticed the clouds are pretty bad lately, especially because it's the weekend now. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support on my uh, Road to Legends. I haven't been doing a series uh, out of it because you guys have seen my dragon attack. It's not the sexiest attack in the world, so I figured I wouldn't keep shoving it down your throat every single night. But hey, that's what I've been doing. That's how I made it, and now that I'm here, I intend to uh, stay for a bit. Uh, enjoy the uh, the new purple badge. So special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are interested in becoming a supporter, check out www.patreon.com forward slash clash with ash. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and as always, take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Just a few ways you can help the channel out. Number one, like. Number two, subscribe. Number three, comment. Tell me what you think of the video. I really appreciate it, guys, and it really helps me out a lot. Also, you can find me on social media. I'm active every day on Twitter, at Clash underscore with underscore Ash, and on Bindle chat group, hashtag Clash with Ash. And as always, you can find me on my website at www.clashwithash.com. Thanks, guys.